Okay, I've had a lot of uh, requests to have a look at the design of my burner. So I'm going to, today I'm just going to go through a few bits and pieces for the burner and uh, just show you what I did and how I made it. And um, just some of the bits and pieces in it. But more importantly, the, um, the burner jet or the nozzle, which is in the, um, which is in the throat of the burner. As you can see, just in there. So, first off, we'll just start with a burner. Um, I just went to the local scrap yard, got some uh, old dairy farm fittings for milking, which is what we have here the tube. Um, and that's just a collar fitting to slide a piece of pipe on with a band around it gives some sort of like a choking type effect on the burner so I've just welded that there it's all stainless steel so far um, on this side we have the oil in or I can regulate the oil flow it's just a um, ball valve just off and on regulates it a little bit um, all, most of these fittings are quarter BSP and if they're not I usually um, drill them out and tap them to a BSP which goes down into there into the, onto the uh, jet and on this side we have just an air regulator valve as you can see it goes from zero to about 100 and 180 pound just a standard air feeding just off and on and on this side here we have a gas jet fitting with quarter BSP fittings all the way through here to just a, a gas tap and that bit there is just a quick connect fitting for the LPG and when I've got the LPG running I start with the LPG turn it on have the gas connected on the LPG bottle set to about maybe 10 pound something like that, no more and then I bring in the air we have the airline fitting here just in and out and with the gas fitting it's just straight on and off with a quick connect fitting uh, that's the basic layout of the, the burner and in there you can see the um, the jet that which I've got that's at the rear view the things approximately 250 millimeters long from there to there and then that's about I don't know another hundred millimeters or so and that's the burner or the jet from the front on okay so we'll just sit that aside <clears throat> and then we have that will function by the way without um, if you've watched the other videos that I've done, that'll function without a, um, any air in it. And you can just put your hand over the back of it. I did make up um, um, a PVC fitting with some um, veins which spiral the air. Sort of like rifling in a rifle. Um, that worked alright. But then I went to this fan. Again, just dairy fittings and a bit of PVC cut and heated to suit the pipe nothing special there and this little fan motor um, I went to the local um, electronics store or Harvey Norman as we have in here in Australia got an old um, washing machine from out the back it happened to be a combination washer dryer it just runs off 240 volts and then I have a cover which I put on here and I just regulate the volume of air from here to here kind of gone missing at the moment but there's a cover which goes on there otherwise if you have too much air the the volume of air that this thing puts out um, I'll I'll fire it up a little bit later I'll put a lead to it right turn it on you'll just see how much air that it puts out which is way too much for it and it just blows out the um, the gas and the oil once the oil and everything's going so yeah I just have that sitting on there it sits flush against that that face have that sitting on there and then you just gradually bring it open until you've got the right amount of airflow and you'll you'll see that with the burning of the flame it'll either be um, yellow or too hot 
or not hot enough and it'll just go out. Now, under the things that most people have been wanting to know about is the, the burner inside or the jet. What I got is this fitting. Um, I picked this up. This is a um, what they call a, is a siphon nozzle. It's a very special fitting. It's not something that I think unless you had a lathe and had certain skills that you could make and for the price that I paid for it I don't think you'd bother either. So that's the main body of it. The, the best part of it <coughs> is this little fitting which is the nozzle. As you can see right through there and they come in various different sizes and um, shapes. This is a Hago fitting. I actually purchased it from a company in the United States called Patriot Supplies. I paid about $27 Australian for this plus a bit of postage. I paid about $24, $25 for this postage so the whole lot cost me about maybe $50. And the idea of it is when that screws in all together you have another fitting on the side here, which is for your um, for your air, which comes in a various different sizes. But again, I'll put that on there. So your airline goes onto there, so you can have it on any angle, various different sizes. You can have all sorts of bits and pieces in there, whatever whatever you suit. And as you can see with the burner. Um, when I put it together, which I'll go through shortly, and that just goes on there, which is a quarter BSP for the oil. And the, the idea of it is when you put the air on, the air rushes around the outside of this adapter, this nozzle, goes around the outside of it. If you have a close look there, you can see the hole. The air rushes around the outside of that, causing uh, a vacuum for the oil to be drawn up through the center of this and when it hits that air it just atomizes um, really well so that is the nozzle that's what makes the burner burn that's the whole secret to how it works and how you set it up and how you get it to go is entirely up to you these do come in different sizes this one is um, about one litre per hour um, it does use approximately that much but when you're using waste vegetable oil that's been cleaned it's um, one litre is not a, not a heck of a lot now what I did when I was trying to fit the uh, burner to the middle I actually used a ruler like that lined the zero this is a um, engineering ruler, nothing special. All I did was line up the zero with the middle bit and then roughly got it to the outside of in here and in here and up top and bottom to get that fix. Then I welded, I got a piece of stainless tube, um, threaded it with some quarter BSP to screw into the side to go in the side I have a fitting like that, a 90 degree fitting so that sits in the burner like that uh, so that screws into there inside the burner with a piece of tube about that long however long it is and then I welded the stainless tube once that's all sealed up with thread tape on here and thread tape in here I've put, got that inside there and I've welded the stainless steel tube to that so it's about that long and I just left that like that and then you can adjust with that you can sort of bend it around and maneuver it a bit to get it to roughly where you want and then I've had that fitting and another piece of tube into there to get it to where I want and then it'll come out with me 90 degrees with me, um, me tap for me oil and just regulates off and on. All this is, as I said before, is quarter BSP. I just found if I just stick to one size, it's easier. And most of the stuff 
that I was getting, like um, air fittings and gas fittings, like these are all um, air fittings for compressors and tools and stuff like that. The same with this, the little regulator. That's all quarter BSP. All these fittings are quarter BSP. Um, little regulator. That's all quarter BSP. And that's about all I did. And then got this collar. Welded that collar on. And just, then just weld. Got me stand, which suits to me the burner that I've got, me furnace. And put that on and just welded a plate to it just so it can stand there freestyle. Just like that. Okay, now I've wired up me, um, me blower. I'll just quickly plug it in. You can see how much air this thing moves. It's actually quite a lot. Okay. So we have the air line in, regulator, gas line. And once the gas is on and going, I just turn this off. Once the oil's going, I should say, I just got a quick connector and I just take it off and move the gas away so I don't need it. One thing I did work out is that if you move the gas from here to here and the air from here to there, it doesn't seem to work. It, must re it seems to require the air to travel past the connection for the gas to go into the to the jet properly which is that remember and it'll burn properly if you have them back to front it won't burn properly the maximum I've ever really needed to use um, I have had the air wound up to about 10 pound it just uses a lot more oil um, doesn't seem to burn any hotter um, somewhere between 2 to 5 pound of air is all I need on me homemade air compressor which is would have seen in the last lot of videos and that's it that's me burner setup I hope this has been helpful for everybody and the company that I purchased this from again was Patriot Supplies in the United States and I paid approximately $45 Australian that's when our dollar wasn't as good as what it is now so yeah anyway hopefully that's been helpful for you alright until next time see you later